The first thing you should know about the transformed animal archetypes is that these are not the character archetypes you would want to play if what you want to play is a were creature. That would be supernatural creature. When a transformed animal archetype character uses one of their sticks, they do not appear to be anything other than human. They are just doing something awesome. Transformed animals are their own character type and are meant to be role-played as never wanting to become an animal. The 2013 Jet Li movie, The Sorcerer and the White Snake, is a retelling slash reinterpretation of the Chinese legend of an immortal animal from the spirit world coming to Earth to live as and live among humans. Such creatures do not want to be discovered because they aren't supposed to be here, and exorcist monks are ever on the lookout to send them back to the spirit world. Maybe it's boredom or the thrill of doing something they aren't supposed to do. Maybe our world is more appealing than the spirit world. Or perhaps these creatures just want to know what it's like to live life as a human. Whatever their reason for coming here, they keep their true nature hidden as best they can. Their greatest fears are to once again become what they used to be and to be banished back to the spirit world. In the world of Feng Shui too, magic can make those fears a reality. Repeated exposure to magic can turn transformed creatures back into animals and possibly kill them. Because magic is so dangerous to them, the first animal spirits to arrive fought hard to gain control of as many Feng Shui sites as they could. Eventually, they took over enough sites to drain magic out of the present day and the colonial era past. When they did this, some of history was rewritten from what it once was. This is a reward that many who know the power of Feng Shui sites seek. The power to rewrite history and have the changes ripple into the present day. Or even the other way around. The transformed animals are the unseen puppet masters of their present and recent past, and they have the power and resources to keep it that way. Their primary goals are to remain secret and to keep magic out of the world. Your transformed animal character can be as old or as young as you choose, and might have been born in this world and have lived their life so far, never knowing about their animal heritage. Sorcerers, magic hops, and ghosts all use magic. Whether they know it or not, supernatural creatures are magical too. Whenever a transformed animal creature is in a fight scene in which one or more sorcery or creature power sticks are used, they take one reversion point. Certain sticks and other conditions can cause them to gain reversion points as well. At the end of each session where the transformed animal character received or carried over reversion points, they need to make a defense check with the total amount of reversion points they have as a difficulty they need to roll against. Most of the time this check won't be too hard, but you can always spend a fortune point to add a fortune dice to your roll to increase your chance of success. On a success, the transformed animal character subtracts their outcome from their reversion total and are otherwise fine. On a failure, they suffer a reversion crisis. When they suffer a second reversion crisis, they revert to their animal form and are stuck in it. They can't talk and they are limited to only doing things their animal form can do. But the GM will usually allow an adventure plot to restore their humanity. Should a transformed animal character suffer a third reversion crisis, that character has now become unplayable, and the GM will handle what happens next and forevermore to that character. The transformed dragon treats reversion a little differently. They retain the ability to talk when in dragon form, but if they revert to a dragon in a magic hostile environment, they die instantly. If they revert to a dragon in a magic neutral environment, they linger in a helpless near-death state. If they revert to a dragon in a magic friendly location, it is the same for them as for any other transformed animal type. Feng Shui 2 only has two transformed animal archetypes, the transformed crab and the transformed dragon. However, the book offers a method for creating eight others, the bear, the elephant, the fox, the monkey, the snake, the scorpion, the spider, and the tortoise. The book advises that using their listed method of creating those extra transformed animal archetypes has not been extensively playtested. So, Remember that, and keep that in mind when you see an awesome game like this being offered on Kickstarter. Help it to achieve its stretch goals. Is there another group of characters or a particular archetype you would like to know about next? Do you want to know about a particular faction in Feng Shui 2? Or do you have any particular questions or something you would like to know more about? Please comment below. I will be making more videos on Feng Shui 2, so be sure to like and subscribe. Start this conversation